Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and in this video I want to talk to you about zodiacal light. Now you might not have heard of zodiacal light but I have spoken about it a few times in previous videos. I think I've spoken about it a few times in live streams as well. It's not the most well known of astronomical subjects so I thought in this video I'd just try and explain a little bit about it and maybe I might get a chance to go out sometime and see if I can capture it. Okay, now zodiacal light is a very strange kind of mysterious kind of light that you can see in the sky if you're in a very dark place after sunset or before sunrise. Now there are different times of the year when it's good to be able to see it either before dawn or after sunset. Now at this time of year there's a very good chance of spotting it before dawn. And the, the, th the reason is, is because zodiacal light is caused by scattered dust particles reflecting back sunlight along the plane of the solar system. It's pretty amazing when you think about it, that the plane of the solar system, that's the path that the Earth takes around the sun and all the planets as well. Now they create quite a lot of dust. There's quite a lot of dust that collects along that um, disk because it's like a flattened disk, you see. And when you see the sun go down, you're actually seeing it go down along the path of the ecliptic because the sun follows what we call the ecliptic. And it's always at a certain angle in the sky. Now, at this time of the year, the ecliptic is very steep in the morning. So it's got a very steep angle like that. And that means it's a great time of the year to spot this scattered glow of dust particles known as zodiacal light in the morning at this time of year, October and November. Now, in, in the early part of the year, say probably February, March and April, is a better time to spot it after sunset. Now that's probably better for most of us because sunset is probably a bit, e bit easier to be up for sunset, isn't it, and watch the sun go down than it is to get up in the morning and go out somewhere and see if you can spot this glow before sunrise. Now I have been lucky enough to capture it before sunrise. I'm just going to show you a picture now. This is Abbasop Beach in Wales and we've got these beach huts here in the foreground and you can see there I've taken a picture looking towards the east and this is looking towards sort of mid Wales and there's a definite glow there. Can you see that? A definite glow coming up into the sky there. That is zodiacal light and the reason why they call it zodiacal light as well is because the glow extends all around the zodiac because of course the path of the sun goes through the zodiacal constellations throughout the whole year. So that was one of the very few times that I've seen zodiacal light in the morning. And I'm just going to show you another picture now, taken at the same place. I'm, I've lifted the camera higher up and you can see there that uh, we've got the zodiacal constellations. We've got Leo there, was quite high up in the sky and the glow extends right through Leo. And then if I show you a further picture, we can even see where the glow of zodiacal light intersects with the Milky Way absolutely amazing now the first time i ever saw zodiacal light was back in tenerife in 2012 and i met an astrophotographer there called stefan vetter french astrophotographer very it's actually quite famous as well he's had apods you know astronomy picture of the day he's had quite a few of those on apod i learned of it off him and these are the things you learn when you go places like that you know you meet people you meet these people and he told me look out for the zodiacal light in tenerife now in tenerife tenerife has a very low latitude of 28 degrees now when you, your latitude is quite low like that when you're kind of like a very low latitude you can actually spot zodiacal light all year round because the ecliptic from down there at 28 degrees north is very steep all year so if you live down there just showing you a picture now so i took this picture of sort of um the milky way absolutely amazing picture at the time anyway I, i'd do better now but you can see there's a glow there on the left hand side and what once i'd found out about it once uh, stefan had told me about it i then went out and took a picture of it properly and i took a picture of the mount tide there and you can see that, you can just see how steep that glow is into the sky and you can also see the Milky Way to the right hand side. Absolutely amazing. And I took some more pictures. I took a panorama and you can see a whole panorama of the Milky Way. And on the left hand side of the Milky Way, we can see this light cone coming off and that is zodiacal light. 
and that was they were all taken after sunset but they also managed to capture it before sunrise i don't think it was quite as obvious before sunrise this was taken at a different time of the year by the way i managed to capture this glow in the morning before sunrise so there you go that that was zodiacal light from tenerife but anyway i've been lucky enough to capture it quite a few times in this country as well like i said i captured it in wales in, in the in the morning but it's quite difficult to get up in the morning and go out and look for it it's easier to capture i think in the evening when it when you're more likely to be up and you know if it's going to be clear as well so my one of my best shots is this one over coniston in the lake district i managed to capture capture this was taken in i think it was in march or april a couple of years ago and you can definitely see that we've got the milky way above in the sky there you can see orion there orion is kind of going towards the southwest there it's it's well past its uh, sort of dominant position in the winter so it's, it's heading off there now but we can definitely see there's a glow in the sky there and i also took another photograph at kelly hall tarn i think this was taken earlier in the year and you can see there that um, a similar area of the lake district then there's a glow in the sky there and i managed to capture it there at kelly hall tarn and um, the southwest of Cumbria. This was this is one of my later photographs of zodiacal light, and I quite like it as well. That this was taken right down on the southwest coast of Cumbria, and you can see out to the Irish Sea there, and you can see all the red things on the horizon. Those are wind turbines, and we can see the Milky Way there, and we've got that glow, that obvious glow of zodiacal light with Venus as well in the middle of it. Can you see Venus there in the middle? You see Venus is one of the planets so it's obviously on the plane of the solar system so you will expect to see planets in the glow of zodiacal light. I've got another picture here taken in Scotland. This is taken in Glenetid after sunset. This was taken in early February so this was taken after sunset when the ecliptic is fairly steep as it is at that time of year in February and you can see the glow there and you can probably might just be able to spot a bright bright well it's not a star it's mars up there on the left hand side absolutely amazing you can see the milky way on the right hand side as well absolutely incredible i've been so lucky to be able to capture all these pictures now i've even managed to capture it looking over the coast from blackpool believe it or not i couldn't see it but i managed to photograph it looking straight out over the coast from Blackpool yes we can see the Milky Way there absolutely amazing you can see all the wind turbines there and you can even see that glow that definite glow now I couldn't see it I have to say I could not see it when I was doing these photographs but this is another one of those things where sometimes the camera can pick up what you can't see it's a bit like the aurora when the aurora is very faint the camera can sometimes see what you can't but there you go I definitely caught the zodiacal light from Blackpool. Now, as I said before, it's all about timing. Now, at this time of year, you need to be up in the morning and you need to have a very dark sky towards your east to have a chance of seeing it because it's very faint. It's not as bright as the Milky Way. Let's say if you're on the east coast as well, that would be good. If you're on the east coast of the UK, you're looking out over the North Sea and that would be also a very good location, a good place to be able to spot the zodiacal light before dawn. Like I say, probably about two, two hours to maybe one and a half hours before sunrise is probably the best time to spot it, the most obvious time. Remember, like I said, the ecliptic is steep, very steep in the morning at this time of year. But as we go into the new year, the ecliptic will then sort of switch then and it will then become steep before sunset so that's when when we get into sort of january february march early next year is going to be a good time to see it after sunset and that will probably be a bit easier for all of us so there you go i hope you like this video talking to you about the mysterious zodiacal light i hope you've learned a little bit it's been really amazing to get out and take all those pictures as well and learn so much about it and what i'm trying to do is i'm going to go out there and see if i can capture it myself this month or maybe next month and see if we can capture it in the morning i'm going to go somewhere really really dark to have a chance but i'm up for the challenge anyway i hope you like the video if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and i will see you again on the next one